You had a son before you married TC. And Crystal knew all about it. When the truth comes Wait, out and you said Crystal knew you were sleeping with Julian. And she knew you were pregnant. And Teresa said Crystal knew the identity of Chad Harris's parents. Your son and Julian's. Chad is a crane. Chad Harris is a crane. Chad Harris, my son. You think that Chad Harris is my son? Well, isn't it obvious? You know, it was bad enough when you just had a sordid affair with my husband, but now it seems you've given him a bastard son. You're just, you know, with all of the tramps that Julian ran around with, I fully expected someday some little bastard to come out of the woodwork saying, Hello, Daddy. I certainly never expected this. You've got every... Uh, what is this going to do to my children? How are they going to deal with another crane heir? You mean how are they going to deal with having a brother who's black? You know you're much more worried about your social position and, and what your country club friends are going to say about Julian's African-American son than you are about Julian having an illegitimate son. That is not true. <sighs> yes, it is true. You just can't bear to see the crane blood tainted with black blood. Are you implying that I am a racist? Aren't you? Absolutely not. I'll have you know I am very involved in minority issues. <laughs> well, I bet you are. You just send off a check and convince yourself that you've done your civic duty. You just tell yourself you're so open-minded and it's all so easy because it doesn't affect you personally. But then when it gets closer to home, well, that's a different story. Then you find it a little harder to hide your bigotry. I don't have to listen to this from you, a low-life slut. I may have been a slut in the past, Ivy, but you're still a slut. How dare you? How dare I? You're blackmailing me so that you can sleep with my best friend's husband, and you want to know how I dare to call you a slut? What kind of woman would sink so low? What kind of woman would do something so desperate to a man who's made it very clear that he doesn't want her? You are the slut, Ivy. All right, all right. Let's talk about the kind of woman you are, Eve. First, you have an affair with my husband. He wasn't your husband yet. First, you have a tawdry affair and take pornographic pictures and then you get pregnant. But instead of keeping the baby, your own child? <laughs> you cast him off like the trash and never think about him again. No. Oh, yeah. What kind of a woman does that, Eve? You tell me what kind of a woman gives away her own child. That is not what happened. How are you going to explain all of this to Chad, hmm? What reason are you going to give him for discarding him? Chad is not my son. Well, I'm sure it's inconvenient to consider the facts. But yes, I think he is. No, he isn't. And how can you be so sure? You want to know how come I know that Chad Harris isn't my son, Ivy? Mm -hmm. Because my baby died. Because my son is dead. What do you mean your baby died? My baby died, Ivy, right after he was born. So you see, Chad couldn't be my son. Well, thank goodness. What? Well, thank goodness that Chad isn't your son. That would have been terrible for all of us. This is really, this is great news. You unfeeling bitch, you're talking about my dead child. You heartless. I lost my child, Ivy. My baby, do you have any idea how hard that is? To never know your, your child, to never hold them? You're 
right. It must have been horrible for you, and I am very sorry. But even you have to admit now, after all these years, it's for the best. Not just for me and my family, but for you and for yours. Think about your husband. Think about TC. What would this do to TC? If he found out that you had had a child with Julian, well, you'd have a lot more to explain than not being quite as innocent as he thought you were. And, and what about your daughters? Think about them. You have worked so hard to keep them away from Chad. What if one of them fell in love with Chad and then found out he was their brother? Their brother? I told you that my son died. Are you absolutely positive of that? My baby died, Ivy. Are you sure about that? Yes, he died. They brought him to me in the hospital right after he was born. He was so beautiful. So tiny. But I was tired, so they took him to the nursery. After a while, the doctor came back and said that something had happened. That my, that my son had died. I was devastated. All I wanted to do was to hold him one more time, but they wouldn't let me. They said it would upset me too much. Hospital took care of all the arrangements. They cremated my little baby and never saw him again. What about Julian? Did he see the baby? He never knew I was pregnant. Don't you dare say that it's all for the best. I lost my baby, my little boy. No, you don't have to worry about Julian's illegitimate black son coming back to haunt you. But losing my child haunts me every day of my life. Julian's baby really die? I mean, she never saw the body. He was cremated so quickly. Oh, please, that's the kind of thing that only happens in soap operas. I mean, why would the hospital tell Eve her baby had died if it wasn't true? No. Eve's baby is dead. Oh, for the sake of all of us, he'd better be.